Hello and welcome to another Motion Industries how-to video. My name is Tom Clark, I'm your host, and on today's how-to, we're gonna show you how to properly heat a bearing for mounting using an induction heater. And helping us out is Paul Mikulica. He is with SKF, and he is the maintenance products team member. And Paul, come on out here, man, because I'm kind of excited but scared at the same time because I, I heard induction heater and bearings and electricity, but I trust you, man. What's going on here today? Thanks a lot, Tom and Noah. You're gonna have a lot of fun and very, very safe method of what we're gonna talk about today. Okay. There are a couple of different options, and when we want to mount this type of bearing, some are not recommended, such as a torch or an oil bath. But today I'm going to show you uh, the correct method using an induction heater. An induction heater is the safest, most effective and efficient method for hot mounting a bearing. Why do you use an induction heater versus other methods like, you know, uh, villagers with torches, uh, perhaps some napalm, doesn't that work? <laughs> aren't those good ones? No, those aren't very good options uh, and actually they're very bad ones. Uh, an open torch could burn the bearing, an oil bath is a tub of oil uh, heated up and the bearings inserted. Both are unsafe, unreliable and could actually damage the bearing. The bath does not sound good to me at all. So, okay, so what are we gonna be doing? Before we start, we wanna make sure that we have some safety points looked after. Right. The heater does generate a magnetic field, so people with a pacemaker should not be within 16 feet. And also, if you have a wristwatch, uh, that might be affected, so it's not a good idea to wear a wristwatch. Now, pacemakers, watches, anything like that, magnetic field, be aware of it. All right, now, but should we be concerned? I mean, should I take a step back? Is this heating dangerous? No, no, not at all. But okay. like anything else, we want to make sure that we use common sense and always make safety a priority. All right, well, safety is a priority, then. You know what we got to do, right? Put on your glasses. PPE. Always personal protective equipment, no matter what the job calls for, make sure you wear it. For this one, for this purpose, we're wearing glasses. Paul, the floor is yours. Go. Okay, Tom, I'm going to uh, uh, go ahead and take the bearing out of the box, but it's really important that you leave the bearing wrapped until ready to install. Uh, that way, the bearing is protected from any kind of airborne contaminants or any kind of contamination in the work area. That's good practice and always good advice, Paul. Okay, so this is the SKF TIH-030 induction heater, and it's designed to heat bearings that are mounted with an interference or press fit onto a shaft. Now, the heat causes the bearing to expand, eliminating the need uh, to use force during the installation. This eliminates the possibility of damaging the bearing, which could cause a premature bearing failure. All right, now how hot does the bearing need to be heated to to actually mount it? That's a good question, Tom. The bearing should be heated to about 230 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh. Uh, we like about 160 degree Fahrenheit uh, temperature difference between the bearing and the shaft, which is generally sufficient to enable a proper installation. Okay, what else do we need to know? Uh, something additional to point out, Tom, is that the induction heater can also be used to heat other metalwork pieces. So some examples would be uh, bushings, uh, shrink rings, pulleys, and gears. Uh, this seems great. It's a versatile tool. I mean, it's good to know that the heater can be used on more than just bearings. I mean, hot dogs? Hot dogs might be a little stretched, but I think all the other parts are, are a good idea, Tom. Yeah, so. all right. Now, are you ready to mount a bearing, Tom? Uh, I, I'm ready. Uh, what are we gonna do? Okay, uh, for demonstration purposes, we already have a bearing that we've already uh, have out of the package. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna insert one of the uh, yolks through the uh, through the bearing. And okay. the, Which one we need to have the largest one uh, to make sure the most maximum efficiency. So in this case, it'll be the second one. Okay. And we wanna make sure that the uh, the bar is touching the goal post as okay, well, Okay, this too. metal? Okay, the metal so you can see the difference. Too. You got the, and then you got the shiny part there. Okay, so, so that that's, the, uh, that's the yolk. Okay. All right. Now these yolks actually are, uh, are bars that the bearing can rest on. So next what we want to do is we want to place the temperature probe on the inner ring. And the temperature probe is here. Okay. Okay. And now, that, that'll help us tell when it's ready, right? Correct. The, okay. uh, remember that the, uh, the inner ring is actually being heated up or will be able to expand. So okay. that's what we want to make sure the probe's on there. Does it ding like a toaster oven? Uh, it will when it's done actually. That's a good no. question. Uh, it will definitely it really? do that. Yes. Oh, this is awesome. So okay. Tom, what we're going to do is we're going to turn the power on. So we're okay. going to start that on. All right. And now we're going to uh, oh, I can hear to that. rest that as well. It's alive! It's alive! <laughs> now how long is this process actually gonna take? It actually depends on the size of the bearing, but in this case, that's not a, a bad size bearing, so it's gonna take pretty pretty quick on how to be able to okay. heat up that And one. what's the temperature that we need to get it up to? To 230, 230 degrees Fahrenheit. I just wanna just check real quick. Oh, it's already up to like 122 degrees. Oh, this is gonna go pretty quick. And, and is this safe? It's very safe. It's actually the safest and most efficient way to be able to mount a bearing. This stuff is all going to be hot, right? Yes. Now, the only thing that's going to be hot is actually the bearing itself. So you'll see when we actually mount that is the um, uh, yolks itself will remain cool. The oh, only, you're touching yeah, it. Yeah. The only thing that is warm is actually the bearing. So can I touch it? You don't want to touch the bearing. The yolk, you can touch the, touch the yolk. Yeah. You How's touch that? it again. Oh, wow. That's cool. That's awesome. That is cool. Well, I think our bearing's ready to eat. 
<laughs> it's amazing, really, how quickly the bearing has heated up. That was fast. You're right, Tom, and that actually sound means that the uh, the bearing is heated to where it, where it should be, uh -huh. and the demagnetization process has uh, uh, has been completed. Okay, why is demagnetizing the bearing so important? It's heated by a magnetic field, so the bearing is actually conductive. Okay. So what that can do is be able to uh, absorb some of the airborne particles. So it's very important that it is demagnetized. Okay, are we ready to mount the bearing? Yeah. So what we're going to do is I'm going to give you the gloves right. for safety. To please put that on. Okay. No, you're not going to put gloves on with me? No, I'm going to I'm gonna see how cool that is. So. All right, okay. So All if right. you want to you wanna hold the bearing? No, okay. you hold the bearing. Okay, I'll hold and the I'm bearing. And you can see that. I'm going to take the oh off. Oh, my gosh. So it's nice and, nice and cool. It's not hot. We can and take, we're take, take the probe off. We're going to just leave the probe back on the heater. Okay. And now we're ready to mount. Okay, here we go. Done. There you go. Fantastic. Nice. And that, there was no problem with that whatsoever. No. Nope. I mean, that went on there. And that wasn't, I mean, that's awesome. I mean, but nothing there was hot. No. That's awesome. Can I shake your hand with this? Sure can. Thanks, Tom. Thank you, Paul. I appreciate it very much. That's awesome. That's Paul Mikalika. He is with SKF, and he's with the maintenance products team. And could you go get my lunch over there? Sure. I'll Thanks. Do that. I there appreciate that. Go heat it up on the <laughs> induction heater. I like that. Well, if you have any questions about anything you saw here today, please contact your nearest Motion Industries branch location, and they'll be able to help you out. Hopefully, this will help you with your practical application. I know this was a great demonstration today. And remember, Remember, as you saw, I had some different PPE on today. Uh, I got my gloves on for the heat because you definitely didn't want to grab that bearing at 230 degrees. But I also had safety glasses on as well. Always wear the proper PPE. And always look for other how-to videos from Motion Industries with me, Tom Clark, as your host. Thanks so much for watching today.